How you doing this evening, John? Well, hello. How you doing? Good, good. Good to see you out. Good to be here. How are you? I am looking at all these fantastic items you have here, and you already setting up for Easter, aren't you? That's right. It's right around the corner. It'll be here before we know it if we get rid of this snow. <laughs> right around the corner. Right around the corner. Listen, what are the great things happening here at Denhart? Well, the, of course, getting ready for Easter here. Of course, uh, the flu is going around, so the pharmacy is real busy also, and deliveries and uh, trying to keep people at home, uh, you know, instead of out in the weather. So, a okay. lot of activity. Well, it's like this, and Jeff, let's go and sit down and talk for a few minutes because I want to talk with my audience about some things they need to know. Okay? That's great. Let's okay. come over here. Okay, let's go this way first. So, folks, you saw I am sitting here with. The man behind the scenes right here at Dead High Drugstore. <laughs> One more time, Jeff, how you doing? Doing good, doing good. Uh, listen, Jeff, I asked you a little bit earlier uh, what's happening right here at the drugstore, but let's go in detail about the history of the store because a lot of the viewers that's watching the broadcast can really appreciate your longevity. Now, what has sustained you, and what would you like for the viewers to know that they don't know? Well, of course, the, the main thing is that Granddad started this uh, business back in 1904, uh, right here on the corner. Uh, we were across the street back then in the old Holland building. Uh, and uh, it, we were there, and he worked it until 1950. Uh, in 1950, uh, Dad and Uncle Jim uh, got out of service and got out of school, and they came back and took over the practice, and they ran it until uh, Uncle Jimmy died in 1981. Uh, I got out of school in 1981 and came back and joined dad and since that time uh, we've uh, been together uh, here at the store uh, so 104 years we've been mm. serving the community and uh, all based on service mm -hmm. uh, granddad uh, was very uh, stringent about that uh, mm -hmm. you know giving back to the community being part of the community and, and being there for our patients so uh, that's why we have 365 days mm -hmm. of service uh, every year and uh, holidays and New Year's Christmas the yeah. whole works we're yeah. here uh, and of course still providing delivery service to you know, uh, but our whole staff is very committed to being uh, there for our patients and providing that extra care, uh, being that helping hand. And they do it. They do it very, very well. They do. Huh? Um, I, I must commend uh, you guys on how you are so patient uh, with patients like myself <laughs> uh, that really don't understand sometimes what's going on in the process but you take time and you break it down to them and uh, I do commend you guys on that. Uh, another thing that caught my eye too, I, you know you said you've been right here in this particular store. Now how long have you been delivering uh, services been going on? Well our delivery service has been going on since the day one. Uh, we've been uh, using bicycles, motorcycles, wow. jeeps, uh, trucks uh, and of course now we're using the hybrid vehicles uh, to the, for the future fuel economy, but uh, no, delivery has been a big part of uh, who we've been uh, over the years, and so it's still today. So you could probably almost safely say that you guys were one of the first drugstores that started delivery servicing. Well, we weren't one of the first. I mean, at that time, uh, the, you know, there were like five pharmacies right around the the, the uh, courthouse. And, of course, it was funny. Uh, they, they said that Granddad wouldn't make it because mm -hmm. he was too far from the courthouse, you know, one block from the courthouse. <laughs> but nowadays, of course, we're the yeah. only one left downtown. Yeah. And, uh, but uh, great foresight from my grandfather and uh, yeah. commitment to service. You know, on our show, we always talk about visions and knowledge and because knowledge is power and all this I'm sitting talking with a man that evidently is just full of knowledge about the business and so you have been actually since what 19 what now? Uh, we started in 1904 and I came back in 1981 okay, 81. so I've been practicing about 26 years now mm -hmm. and uh, of course dad is on his 57th year 58th year of, yeah. of practicing and uh, you know it's because he loves it and loves the people yeah. that he continues to do it uh, and, and, uh, so we enjoy mm -hmm. what we do and, and our staff enjoys, and that shows sure in their commitment yeah. to our patients, whether it's in the respiratory department, whether it's the techs, whether it's the delivery men, no matter what department, you know, the people are really involved with our patients. What comes to mind when you hear the words, Dan Howard Drugs? Could it be the over 100 years of service to Owensboro and Davis County? Or maybe it brings to mind the experienced pharmacists and trusted staff of Dan Howard Drugs. Or maybe when you hear the Dan Howard name, you think of durable medical equipment like wheelchairs, walkers, and lift chairs. Whenever you think of Dan Howard Drugs, remember that they've been faithful to your trust since 1904. 
Your friends at Dan Hour Drugs want you to know that they're more than just a pharmacy. They have gifts too. There's something special for any occasion, from birthdays to graduations to bereavement gifts, even those hard to find items for the man in your life. Looking for baby gifts, wedding gifts, or anniversary gifts? Dan Hour Drugs will have it. Dan Hour also carries fine metalware by Beatrice Ball and Fontanini Collectibles. So remember, Dan Hour Drugs, they're more than just your pharmacy, they're your home for fine gifts too. Entertainment and one more time, I am standing behind the senior member of Dan Hara Drugstore. Uh, the man has a uh, lot of knowledge. I just know that just by looking at you and talk with you several times. Uh, in other words, let the audience know who you are. I'm William Dan Hara of Dan Hara Drugs. Um, I got out of college in 1950 and I've been here ever since. My dad opened the store in 1904 and I've started working behind the soda fountain when I was in about the fifth or sixth grade. So, uh, as the old saying goes, I've been around a while. <laughs> <laughs> but let me ask you this, uh, I guess because you saw your father and your family doing this, that, was that the only thing that persuaded you to do this? Mm, it's the only thing that really appealed to me. So I, was, I came out of the Navy and I went right from the Navy right to college. So I didn't have much time to think about anything else with, uh, with the GI Bill at most veterans had at that time so yeah not even those seven children right? we have seven <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay listen uh anyone's watching the broadcast mm -hmm. is it very easy for them if they are really dealing with someone else uh, another form of sense is it very easy for them to get transferred and to uh, are you look can you undertake new uh, customers and uh here at your store like i did um yes we can uh, handle new customers very easily uh if they have scripts they'd want transferred it's uh we can call or either the, the other pharmacies or get new prescriptions from the doctor without any problem. Yeah. Uh, I, I know this is my final question, but uh, the years you've been doing this, I know you've met a lot of people and mm -hmm. I know that you have been a great service to different people. What, what is the one thing, the one case, the one patient that sticks on your mind that gave you great joy from, from doing this? Mm, I really can't say one. We've had so many, but... Um, in case this is actually we're more of a family orientated so we get to know our customers real well um, we know uh, their histories and all and um, we know that you know uh, as they get older they get sick so we're more conscious of their needs and try to service them a lot more personally, yes. I like that answer because if you're with someone, you can't understand their needs. You can watch them as they grow and you know what the person. Thank you so much. Okay.